Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog of day. And today is Sunday the 3rd, and today was a lovely, beautiful day to be alive. Woke up this morning um, way earlier than I should have, but I knew I had a long drive ahead of me and I had to get all my mom's stuff packed up and all that fun things. So, got up this morning, kind of took my time getting around kind of slowly. Uh, I didn't wake up my aunt and uncle too early. Uh, by the time I got out of the bedroom, got things packed up out of the room, head out to load up the truck to head in to get the rest of my mom's stuff from her place. My aunt was up and she said they were going to come in and help us load up my mom's place and waiting for her, her, my uncle to get up. So at about seven, he was going to get up so he'd go check the cattle and they were going to head in town to help us load up and stuff, which not a big deal. I grabbed the dolly, took all my stuff out of the freezer, got my freezer in the truck hit, um, plugged in, got loaded up, basically headed there in town. On the way in town, I decided to stop and get my run done because I wanted to get it over with. So I didn't have to worry about trying to run on the road and drive back home. So we went and ran the loop again at the reservoir, which I like that loop. It's about a mile and a half loop. So I got it done, um, headed from there over to my mom's house, basically her apartment. Um, back the truck in by the dumpster, by the back door so we could haul everything out of there. I had the dolly, had a shopping cart also that used in the apartment building. Started hauling things down, loading the truck up and it looked like I had enough room for everything. As it started loading up, it fills up quick. With the topper, it gave me a lot more space than whatnot, but everything all packed in super tight. Didn't want stuff moving around and whatnot, so that took a while as we were loading things out. Going through, she was hauling some stuff down the cart, so I was hauling down the dolly. Um, basically, it was just about, I was getting pretty close to being done. My aunt and uncle showed up, and I told them, you know, where to park, because they had some stuff they had to take to their place they were going to give to my uncle and whatnot. My mom didn't want to bring down here with her, so I told them, I said, the biggest thing, if you could help me, is figure out what we need to do to get the air conditioner out of the wall because of the fact that I didn't even look at it yet. I didn't mess with it at all. So he headed in, take care of that part. And then I finished loading the rest of the stuff, walked in, he had it loose. And basically the two of us were able to grab it, pull it out of there real quick. Finished loading the rest of the truck up, put the TVs in the back seat of the truck and all that fun stuff and all the breakables and whatnot. Projected them as best we could. Got that taken care of, got all our stuff loaded up in their truck and headed out. On the way out of town, I stopped by High V, which is the grocery store there. Hey -o and basically grab myself some more chocolate milk and some AE uh, chip dip because I wanted that when I get back down here. So my wife's a real big fan of it as well. So the chip dip, not the milk. She doesn't really drink the milk too much, but saw one of my uh, friends that I used to run with quite a bit. She works at Hy-Vee there. So I talked to her for a couple minutes. Um, didn't really have time to talk to her at all this week for this trip up there because I was only there for a couple days. So talk chat to her, uh, basically said hi and said bye, pretty much what we did. Uh, headed out, got the rest of the stuff loaded in the truck, and mom and I headed south. Um, ran down through Kirksville, Missouri, ordered a pizza from Casey's. It was like 11 o'clock or so and rolled up in there. Um, went ahead and they'd undercooked it. They pushed the dough out too far on the outside of the crust. So the middle was super thin, the outside was super doughy and not cooked through. So as you're trying to pick a piece up, the center part would fall off. So I have this like three, uh, about three inches of pizza in the middle. They just kept falling off all the toppings and stuff, but we had plenty of pizza. We ate it up much we wanted, kind of snacked on it the rest of the day for a while and just kind of, when it actually cooled off, it thickened up a little bit. The cheese, you know, basically became more solid. You could actually pick it up and eat it. Um, pretty much just drove straight through. It's just driving, thought, chatting and talking, listening to podcasts and driving, chatting and talking, podcasts, driving, and drove throughout the day. Um, really had no issues. Uh, truck ran fine. All the internet was all working. Everything was great there. So ran through got to about 11 o'clock at night and i was just exhausted i was so tired i just drove up there i just got there friday then i drove uh, saturday up to a ton one back now home with my buddy who's dead all day and then came back so i didn't get much sleep up there and ended up pulling her rest up she was going to get a hotel and she said she didn't want a hotel because the fact one i didn't want to do the hotel thing she lives like so many hours and such pain in the ass and then she was concerned about the covid and possibly bed bugs or god knows what the hotels and stuff so said to hell with it and i just basically grabbed my lawn chair out of the back and went over in the underneath one of the trees and took myself a nap i got about 20 25 minutes worth of sleep i was down there for about an hour between stopping using the restroom and taking a nap and all that fun stuff so i got a little bit of rest headed on in um driving through for a couple more hours uh, i was probably i don't know four o'clock in the morning or so something like that three probably three thirty four o'clock in the morning pulled over again took another nap got about probably 40 minutes of sleep that time so i had about an hour for the sleep between the two stops and then basically got up and pretty much that was the end of that day so no not really an eventful day just drive load up everything and drive that's all we did so anyway that's all i got for right now we'll talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe wonderful day thanks for watching